Hey guys, Samo Jumbo VFX here. And uh, I'm sure most of you may have seen my previous video to this one, or my first video that I've uploaded on this channel. Um, it was me firing a gun, and there was, you know, um, uh, you know, muzzle flash and sound effects and like everything. And I've got the same video, but this time it's the the, the raw footage, so. There's no gunshots or anything. Um, as you can see here. Um, if I just skip forward a bit. You can see there's like no muzzle flash or anything. So in this video what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to actually put the muzzle flash and the sound effects in. So let's get started. So of course you're going to need some raw footage like I've got here. Um, you are also going to need um, a muzzle flash, um, your desired like muzzle flash look. Um, I've got one downloaded um, uh, here. Okay, um, here. So I've just got a pretty plain muzzle flash, and it's going to end up here. What you're going to want to do is you want to drag it down into here, and that little black line should come up. That's where you want to put it. Now it'll immediately come into the screen. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the beginning of it and just drag away. And then what you're going to want to do is find the scene where you're about to shoot. Um, Okay, so you just want to keep doing that until you find the scene that you want to shoot. Okay, I start lifting the gun there, and you want to press Command. Um, if you're using a Mac, Command and then the arrow keys to find the frame before which you start lifting up the gun. So you see that frame I start lifting up. So I'm going to want to put more. Drag this, the fra the thing with the muzzle flash, over here, and then until it's like that. And then I'm going to want to press Alt, or Option if you're on a Mac, and then the, um, the bracket, like the, like the square bracket, the first, like, square bracket, the left one. And then you want to come here, and then you want to get these and then, oh, get these and make it smaller obviously and then you want to find where you want to put it in the video um, and then you want to go um, right click on it and then go blending mode and click screen so now it'll do that now it may come up with a box it just depends what the lighting is like in your area, but it's like in the actual video, it's not noticeable, so don't even worry about that. And then you want to press without clicking anything else. You want to press Alt and then right square back square bracket. Oh, actually, you need to click on the um that. Click Alt and then right square bracket. So now you'll have something that looks like this. So now the video is actually going, footage is actually going really slow for some reason, I don't know why. Probably just because I'm recording and doing this. But if you're not recording and doing this, it'll look absolutely fine because you can see like it does that. So everything's all working fine. And then, if you want, and then you could stop there, most people do. But um, what you can actually do is you can add sound as well. Now I've already got a sound downloaded. Um, it's over here um, it's like powerful gun shot here and that's imported and then we drag this down into whatever layer and then you bring it over to the little marker here that says that's the muzzle flash and you want to bring the beginning just a little bit forward of that so it's like about maybe there and then you want to go here and click RAM preview and now it's just kind of rendering the video 
you know, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I've got a few more um, frames where I shoot the gun as well. But I'm just going to show you on one frame. Right, so while it finishes rendering, um, if you do enjoy these the videos, guys, and they are, and you find them helpful, it'd be real. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Now, see how cool that is. That is pretty cool, right? And also, you may notice. Um, here how I cock the gun you can actually go to where I start beginning of the cocking it and you can import a, like a a cocking sound as well which I happen to have downloaded yeah so now I'm gonna get that and I'm going to drag it into here and I start cocking the gun there so I'm just gonna drag it right to there and then if we go RAM preview again. It'll um just render that out really quickly. Here we go. Now watch how good this looks. And of course I um and now if you have more frames like I do in which I am cocking the gun and like shooting it again like I got there you just repeat these steps and do that again there um, and then once you're done um, you oh and when you're trying to preview it you always want to go RAM preview so click um, composition preview RAM preview or you want to go over here and click this button um, and to save it you want to go, you don't want to go here and click save as because that doesn't work. You want to go save RAM preview. And then, of course, you name it um, whatever you want. And, you know, and you have it saved as, you know, whatever your movie file is. And then, of course, you'd save it, but I've already got it, so I don't need to save it. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And um, I'll see you later.